one race to decide two champions, the individual and the team, here in the fourth season of Marbula One. And for the first time, this sport is welcomed to the jubilant Casino Square, where, I've got to say it, it's a full house. And they are throwing a party. They are really living here. The tables are wide open, and the woodsy is wild. All right, we get ready for what promises to be a very fascinating finale to this season, a track that we've never been to before, that in the limited running in qualifying proved to be a very interesting track to see that has passes just about everywhere. Oh, hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. This is 15 turns for 15 laps. Who will come out on top? Yesterday in qualifying, there were some points on offer and that actually changed the championship permutations. It eliminated a couple of marbles, the likes of Rima who qualified well down the order. Red Eye who was not able to grab those extra bonus points for qualifying. Those two marbles are out. Momo, who is the championship leader, sits on the sidelines watching this one. Oh, hey, here we've got the odds. It's only Royal and Speedy in this race. And you see Speedy needs 25 points or more. A win worth 25. Fastest lap is worth one as well. The Blackjacks are just happy to have everybody here. And can I say, since this is the final Marble One race of the season, however your marble does, just enjoy this. And we're rolling for the final time in season four. Bumble holds off the entire field. Red Eye comes up into second place. Then it's Mallard and Nemo. Royal hanging back there has some trouble at the hairpin and may have lost a couple of spots. Speedy, who is one of those marbles in the championship hunt, does get by but has to win this race in order for it to count. Mimo drops through, whose teammate Momo is waiting anxiously on the sidelines. These top three marbles separated by one length, and Red Eye goes up into P1. That was a heck of a first lap. The defending individual champion, Red Eye, causes a collision there, and we've seen that in a few corners of this track. Marbles can hit either the wall or each other just right, and they stop almost completely. Down here in the second sector, we saw that happen in qualifying. Oh, somebody's having some trouble back there. Was that Glimmer? Drag race down the straightaway. Speedy gets by into second place and has fastest lap and will be side by side with Red Eye. Speedy with the lead. If this holds, Speedy will be the individual champion. Speedy not taking any defensive lines yet. Focusing ahead as this marble often does. Speedy, Mimo, Mallard, Bumble, Clementon, Red Eye. Oh, back and forth battle there. Royal and Clementon and Frost also getting in the fight there. Back in seventh place. Hart for the home team is in the top ten. A lot of marbles here cheering that one on. Speedy's lead is not a comfortable one. Heading into sector number two. Now it's ballooned out just a bit as Red Eye and Mallard continue to fight back and forth between them. Red Eye gets by and already has sights set on Speedy. Red Eye around the outside. Red Eye catches the draft, gets fastest lap, and for now has denied Speedy the individual championship. Oh, Speedy getting caught up on the wall there again. Falls back to third spot and is trying desperately to get that speed going once again. Red Eye in front of the grandstand. Here you can see Speedy drafting Mallard. We are on lap five. Oh, almost five marbles there. Coming down the straightaway, Royal falls backward to 12th spot. Even if things don't shake out up front for Speedy, that's not enough for Royal. That would mean that Momo is the champion. Those two marbles have to get things going. Speedy is in second place right now. As through the hairpin, we see several marbles getting right up together with each other. Rima, Hero, Clutter also up there. We see Royal weaving back and forth behind them. Royal has to get a move on here. Red Eye 
Nearly two second lead up front. Speedy, perhaps, just doing a couple of cool down laps, ready to mount a challenge. That is a pretty large gap though. And if Clementon can get up there and start making things complicated for Speedy, well, Red Eye may actually hold this lead to the end. That would make Momo the individual champion. But look at this, Royal is now up into 10th spot. That's an interesting look down toward that far quick chicane. Look at how fast the marble shoots side to side there. The change of direction is just incredible to watch. Royal needing nine points. That means a finish of seventh or higher. Could also get eighth, and with the championship, oh, Speedy coming to a crawl. Clementon, and gets by into first. The O-Rangers need 15 points more than the Savage Speeders to win back-to-back -back titles. Remember, Team Primer, the Hazers also in the title fight. They are nowhere to be seen. Rima down there in 10th, Misty outside of the points as well. Lots going on here. Clementon holding the lead. Speedy now back in fourth. And again, needs to win this race to be the champion. Otherwise, it's going to be Momo as it currently runs. Red Eye still holds fastest lap. That is worth one point. As they drop on through, Ooh, some trouble there with Nemo. And that lead has come down a bit. There you see it. Two, three lengths, Red Eye to the outside, and takes it back. The lead goes to the Crazy Cat's eyes. Through the hairpins they come. Speedy is now behind Bumble, catches that draft, but has to get by. Laps are running out quickly, both for championship hopes for each of the two active marbles here and for the Marbula One season. It's Red Eye over Clementon, Bumble, Speedy, Mallard, Frost, Firo, Rima, Nemo, who gets by Rima, Hart in 10th for the home team. Chalk, Royal all the way down in 12th. Razzy, Clutter, Pinky Winky, Glimmer, Misty, Bolt, Fenrir, and Starry round out our field. Nearing the six minute mark of this race. Some marbles starting to look tired at this new track that I think some of them misjudged. Oh, trouble in sector two. Red Eye, slow down that short shoot and Bumble takes the lead. Clementon in third, Speedy still back in fourth. The lead is half a second for Bumble. Red Eye has looked so good through these opening turns of each lap. He briefly looks to the inside, decides not to make the move there. Bumble getting caught up on the walls. Once again, the door opens just briefly. But Red Eye cannot step through it, and there was the move, but the over-under goes right back to Bumble, and speed for Red Eye. The Crazy Cat's Eyes have the lead once again. Looking farther back, Royal is in 10th, needs a few spots. Oh, Royal falls back to 11th. Speedy is still 4th. There are just a few laps to go. Three teams coming into this round, tied at the top of the standings. It's Hazers, Team Primary, and Savage Speeders. Then it's the O-Rangers back in fourth. Right now. One point three six seconds is the lead. Red Eye over Bumble. And we are now in the penultimate lap. The gap's quite wide among those top four. Is Speedy about to fold in the hopes for winning a championship? Royal, all the way back in 13th, has not been able to get a rhythm going. And for a marble that has looked so good over the course of this season, won two straight back in round two and round three. Another podium right after that. This would be a disappointing finish to the season. Oh, contact there with Razzie and Club. There's Red Eye at the front of the field. Final lap. Crazy Cat Size may not be in it for a team or an individual championship, but there is still honor to be had. Bumble cruises by in second. There's Clementon and there's Speedy. Mallard back in fifth. 
One last time through the drop as Speedy gets by into third. Red Eye comes through and wins the race here at Casino Square. Bumble comes through in second. Speedy not good enough in third. And Royal's gonna be all the way back. That means by sitting on the sideline, our individual champion is Momo. And we get one final pass for the 2023 season. Starry puts in some effort there. The crazy cat's eyes are celebrating, although it's a very different kind of celebration than what they had over the last couple of seasons. Nemo down in ninth is also ecstatic, not necessarily for that particular finish, but for what that means in the team game. A teammate is gonna be standing on the top step of the podium for the individual championship. Momo, a marble that won back in round five, got some bonus points as well, was on the podium two other times, will end up being the winner of season four. But importantly also is the team battle. The encounters are at work, which at a casino tends to go fairly quickly. While everybody's catching their breath, while they're getting the trophies out, while they're making their way to the podium. I gotta say thank you so much for this season, for all of the interactions that we've had online and in the stands, walking back and forth around the tracks. This has been tremendous. And what a circuit to end the season on, by the way. The Blackjacks, fantastic hosts, a party atmosphere well-deserving for everyone who has made it through this Marbula One season. Red Eye stands on the top step of the podium, a familiar place for that marble, but a championship will have to wait until at least next year for the crazy cat size. Ah, oh, there we go. Let the party begin. Blowing in the stands, marbles dancing all over the place. Ah, oh, look at this. This is a treat. Casino Square for the first time welcoming Marbula One. And I imagine this will not be the last time either as we send off season four in style. What will future seasons hold for these marbles and some of these teams? Are they second guessing now what marbles they chose to put into the lineup this year? Ah, we got a track invasion as well. Welcome everybody out there, bring them to the front and let's celebrate on the podium together. The winning dumpling, living up to the name. Our Marbula One champion in 2023 is Momo. Welcome now to the top step of the podium, our team champions. It is the Savage Speeders. They've done it. The Savage Speeders, Pip Team Primary, and the O-Rangers in the final round. Nodded as they came into it. And this is a pretty good season for the Savage Speeders as well. I mean, think about how well the individual standings went for them and the team standings. You've got Cloudy and Red Eye are up there. Speedy is back there in fifth, came oh so close. Royal just off of that podium. 
86 points, one point clear of Cloudy, and a further one point clear of Red Eye, who gave it everything but just needed a better qualifying yesterday. Savage Speeders, 143 to 133, 10 clear of the field. Over Team Primary and the O'Rangers, Hazers and Crazy Cat's Eyes round out the top five. Our hosts, the Blackjacks, down there in 11th. Like I said, they're not too concerned about that. They are thrilled to have the sport, and I am thrilled to have brought it to you as well. Thank you all so much for watching this season. We hope to see you back next time. In the meantime, prepare for the Marble League and who knows what else may be coming. For everybody at Yellow's Marble Runs, I'm Greg Woods. So long, everyone.